everybody, I've got a treat for you. Today I've got my friend Val coming in. She and I were speaking a few days ago regarding her son's graduation ceremony coming up later in the summer and she was telling me how she wanted to create a beautiful makeup look that she could wear during the day and she could also pull off for the evening when she throws a big party for him with her friends and family. But there was two things that she said she struggles with. The first area was dark circles and how to correct them and cover them up. And the second area was contouring. So we got talking and I invited her in to do a makeup look on video to for her and to show you all. Because there's so many of you that have been messaging me about dark circles and how to get those covered up. So I really hope this video helps you and I can't wait to see what you think. I've got the lovely Val here today um, who has come in very kindly to help demonstrate a makeup look. Thank you so much Val for coming in. You're welcome. It is going to be a spring summer occasion and uh, what we're going to concentrate with Val on is concealing up the sort of dark circles you've got around underneath the eyes. Um, a little bit of contouring because I know you want to do some contouring and yep. learn how to do some contouring yep. <laughs> and then we just want to make it a really fresh look for kind of the summer. Yeah. So let's get great. started. First up, we're going to go with the LMS Superfood Day Cream and I'm going to warm that up into my hands and then put that all across Val's face. So we're just popping it all over the skin so that we have a really lovely base before we put any of our skin products on like concealer foundation and then the rest of the makeup look. Next up I'm going in with the Pore Professional uh, by Benefit Cosmetics just to make the pores slightly less visible onto the skin. Um, Val doesn't have too many visible pores but I think it would just help when we do the actual foundation particularly because she's going to be at this graduation from the morning and then there's going to be a bit of a party later so she needs to carry this makeup look throughout the day. So I'm just going to take some of that and then just with a flat brush around the pore area. I'm going to be using the Bobbi Brown BBU palette today. On one side it's got concealers and correctors and the other side it's got foundations. I'm going to start with the first step which is all about correctors and we're going to work underneath the eyes to sort of erase away those dark circles and then work with concealer and foundation after. So I'm just going in with a darker corrector to cancel out the darker circle and then we're going to put in concealer after and I'm just going to warm that up and massage it through with my finger because it just makes it slightly easier to penetrate it in and this finger is the one that you should always use if you are working with this around the eye area because it has the least amount of pressure and then the second eye And then just in some of the other areas to get rid of some of the blemish marks. Val has some aging spots just around this area, so we're just going to correct those as well. And then if you just look back into the camera. That's the correcting done and we're going to go next stop with concealer. We're going in with concealer now. I'm going to be using the Estee Lauder one and uh, this is a double wear concealer and it's for stay in place for flawless wear concealer. So we're just going to add it into this area. Just using a soft brush to keep it flat and we're going to take this all through the area that we have corrected. 
and the trick around this is that when you set your foundation and your concealer if you think that you just need to blend it a little bit more with either your finger or a brush or a beauty blender just do that again just before you add in the powder and that is the concealing done onto the correcting areas next step is foundation and we're going to go with the ordinary it's a high coverage foundation in 2.1p and i'm just going to take that onto my hand and just start to work it through from the inside working out and the brush i'm using is by blank canvas i love this brush so i'm going to do half the face with a brush and then the rest of the half of the face with a beauty blender just so you can see the two different ways that I do the foundation. So that's half of Val's face. If I just get you to look slightly down, half of Val's face done with the foundation. I'm going to use a soft beauty blender or sponge. It's been dampened in warm water and I'm going to take that and I'm just going to start here on the forehead. And just make sure you push it all the way out to the hairline because we don't want like just a line showing through we want it to really work in and because this is a high coverage foundation this should keep you going for at least eight hours or until you kind of remove your makeup and I'm just pressing in again the foundation and where we've done the concealer and the corrector just to make sure everything is perfectly blended through and just look down back so that's the concealer corrector and foundation all done I'm gonna go in and do contouring now I've got the Ben Nye Pro palette here this is what it looks like and I'm going to do some contouring and then I'm going to set it all with some beautiful powder. So the way to know how to contour, if you just feel underneath the cheekbone, that's the area that you need to put your contour line. So the way I do it is I take, take it from the top of the ear and sort of diagonally across to kind of the lip. But I always, always do my line halfway and then once I've got my line into place, I just blend upwards and outwards and the what reason that I do that is it just helps to lift the whole face and also the contour as well so I've got a brush by blank canvas here and I'm gonna take I think a shade of these two and just run it across the sort of underneath the cheekbone area for the contour so I'm just gonna create the line now just underneath the cheekbone from the ear then halfway here, you just do it softly around the temple area so it gives it a little bit of warmth. Can you see the difference? Mm -hmm. So I'm going in with Delilah, it's a translucent uh, microfine powder. This is what I have in my set bag and I love this because it just gives me a really nice dusting across the face and you can see it's slightly here so I'm just going to take that onto my brush rather than using the puff because I've got too much on the puff here to kind of put straight onto Val's face but we're going to use a brush and literally dust it through because this is such a beautiful microfine powder it just allows you to sort of work in there really quickly got the Clarins Fix Makeup Spray. I'm going to set the base now and I'm going to set it a second time after I've done the complete look just to make sure the makeup stays put throughout the day for Val. So I'll just close your eyes and just let that dry naturally and then we'll get started with the eyes. I'm going to use the Gosh Eyebrow Pencil. It's got the product on one side and then a spoolie on the other. This is in mahogany and we're just going to frame the eyebrows so just turn this way and we'll do this side first and the idea is to just do gentle strokes 
going towards how the hair is growing. So in this area, rather than going like that, we're working downwards. And then from the front, we're going to go upwards. So that's Belle's brows done using the Gosh Cosmetics Mahogany Brow Pencil. I'm going to be using the Shishido um, Lash Curler. And I'm going to get Belle's lip down and then just lift and take it as possibly as close as I can to the root and press for five seconds. I'm going to be using the 3 Inner Cosmetics uh, Creamy Eyeshadow in purple here for the eyelids and then I'm also going to be using the Modern Renaissance palette in the shade Love Letter and Venetian Red. So we're going to go with the smoky eye and I've taken the cream eyeshadow so I'm just going to get Belle to close her eyes and I'm going to line it from the top of the crease and then take it all the way down into the lips. What you will find with this cream eyeshadow product is that you will need to work quite quickly. And then just as a transition colour, I've just added on red okra to the top just slightly. And then just a clean blending brush. Just marry all of that up. Just to soften it, I'm adding the love letter shade just across the lid as well. And then just blend it down. And just dust away. Any fallout. And just tidy up the areas. Maybe quite a bit of excess. Maybe a cotton bud. I'm going to use the Bobbi Brown um, Black Gel Liner and just frame the lids just around that as close as possible to the lash line. And then I'm going to smudge that through because I want it to kind of be part of the smoky eye. So I just want to take away the harshness of a, a line. I'm going to go in with Scandal Eyes by Rimmel into the waterline, just up here. And I'm going to do that at the top and the bottom. So I've just added in a dark brown shadow to this side of the eye on bow, and I'm going to do exactly the same on this side. It's from the same eyeshadow palette. I've got this MAC palette which I've custom made by choosing the colours that I wanted. Um, I'm going to go with, um, I think, this shade and this one just to amplify up the contour area that I did with the cream. Um, and this is powder base, so I'm just going to add a bit more depth and definition. Let's get up this as well. I've got the Morph Cosmetics blusher palette here. So I'm going to, I think I'm going to go in with a mix of these two shades here, quite pinky tones. And just smell for me. I've got the MUA Academy highlighter here in a kind of icy pink colour. So I'm just going to put that in the highlighter areas. I'm going to top up the eyeliner at the bottom here with this Rimmel waterproof eye definer in a beautiful kind of soft um, electric sort of shimmery plum colour in purple. Just look up. Now for lips, I've got the number five in plum and this is by number seven. 
I've got the 125 Moisture Renew in uh, Rimmel London and I'm just going to add that onto the lips just to give it a really nice creamy base. Last stop is to put the MAC Plush Glass in Bountiful. And then just a spritz of spray, just close your eyes now. Just to set everything. And that's the final look. You can open your eye. Do you want to have a look in the mirror? What do you think? Really like it. Really, really like it. So guys, that was the final look on Val. She looks absolutely stunning. I hope you'll agree. Um, have you got any makeup struggles? Let me know. I really want to do more and more videos like this for you guys around the things that you struggle with the most and how to beef up and up your game on makeup. Um, there's so many comments that I've been getting on Instagram, emails that have been coming in regarding what things you'd like me to cover and there's so much exciting content coming in. So don't forget to subscribe to the channel hit the notifications button and follow all my behind the scenes on Instagram, Facebook and Twitter. For now, take care.